What is it that can send a stock on a meteoric rise? One of them is the classic short squeeze. They go after the ones that are heavily shorted in order to come up with a short squeeze. They were able to muster enough collective buying power to create what's called a short squeeze. Could you explain what is a short squeeze? A short squeeze is actually a very interesting phenomena. In order to understand short squeeze and what it is, you have to understand the basics. So what is a short sale? Now a short sale is actually the opposite of what you usually do on the stock market, right? When people go on the stock market, they buy stock and they hope that the stock price will go up over time. So eventually they could sell the stock and make a profit. That mechanism is called a long position. You're long on the stock, right? You want to buy it, hold it, and sell sell it at a profit. Now, there's also it's called a short position. Now, short position is actually something very interesting where you don't even buy the stock. If you think a stock is overvalued for whatever reason, right? Might be out of hype. It might be because you think they're fraud. There's a lot of reasons why people think that certain stocks are overvalued. If you think that stock ABC is overvalued, what you can do is you can come up to your broker and say, hey, listen, can I borrow a few shares of that stock from you? And I'll give it back in a month. And the broker probably would say, well, sure, here's a few shares, pay me my 5% interest because it's essentially a loan and just bring it back at the end of the month. You take these borrowed shares, you sell the shares, you wait for a month, the price goes down because people see it's a fraud or they see it's not such a good company. You buy back the shares in the open market now for 50% of the price you actually sold it to. And then you pay the interest to your uh, brokerage and you give them back the shares. So essentially what you made here is profit, whatever the share price difference was times the shares you had minus the interest that you had to pay to the broker for taking that loan. However, here's the really interesting part about short selling. Let me ask you a question, right? In the long position, when you buy a stock, you hold the stock. What is the maximum amount of money you can actually lose in an investment in stock? Uh, what you invested. Exactly. You can never lose more than what you invested. That's the, the cap of your potential loss. However, in a short position, there's literally no cap to how much money you can lose. It's an endless amount of money. And I'll explain why. So what happened with GameStop? <laughs> 10 years after Occupy Wall Street, there's a new type of financial protest. A subreddit group with more than 3 million members known as Wall Street Bets was there that the idea of buying GameStop went viral. There are certain types of short sells that go over the line and they overshort, they massively short. They will start trying to create investigations for companies. They were able to muster enough collective buying power to create what's called a short squeeze. GameStop skyrocketed, going from $3 in April to nearly 350 today. Several large hedge funds were severely wounded in the process. And the more these stocks go up, the more the big guys are getting creamed and losing billions of dollars. And there were a lot of hedge funds and they were saying, well, the stock price is gonna go down. This company is going out of business soon. Let's just short the stock. So they borrowed the stock at a certain price, seven, eight dollars, whatever. And they waited for the stock price to go to three dollars. Then they cashed out their profits. But what they did next was actually really interesting. Instead of just saying, hey, we made a lot of money when they made billions. They said, let's just do it again from three dollars to one dollar. And let's actually borrow more than 100 percent of the shares. So essentially what they would do is when the price was already at rock bottom, let's actually borrowed shares that were sold to the public. And then they got it all the way to 140% of the float was short. 140% of the stock of GameStop was short at one point, which is an insane concept. Think about it, what it means, how much shorting they did, how much greed, how much this like, this sense of untouchableness. It's the greed that's cost them really. Yeah, so what happened is that eventually some dude on Reddit saw this and was like, oh shit, this company is 100% uh, shorted. If we just buy a little bit of it, we're going to send the price up. Because what happens is when you start buying a share that has a low market cap, it sends the price parabolically up. All the Reddit people basically said, hey, why don't we just buy options on this company? Because options, they compound that effect. Instead of just buying the share, let's buy options for crazy prices, for like $30, $40 per share. Because when you purchase options, the option writer has to cover their position. So they have to buy the stock to cover the option. So that way, they essentially created a mousetrap for these hedge funds. They sent the price up while the option sellers and the hedge funds were fighting for whatever stock they could get from the free market. They were essentially digging their own grave, pushing the share price up and up and up and up and up. They took that shit from $3 all the way to $400 this way. It's like you and me are trying to buy a 
a camera and there's only one camera and we're constantly outbidding and we cannot live without it it's essentially what happened everybody was fighting for the share but guess what because there was 140 percent that they owe to the brokerages they couldn't cover their positions there was not enough stock eventually what ended up happening is that the main hedge fund that was shorting it the most was called melvin capital actually a very very famous firm they lost three billion dollars on the short sale how if you borrow a stock at three dollars and you have to give it back in a month or two whatever and now the stock is costing four hundred dollars you just lost three hundred and ninety seven dollars per share on the three dollar investment if you have a couple millions of shares you see where i'm going with this unless you're a bank normal people should not short stocks even if you are 110 percent sure that the share price will go down never ever never as an individual short any stock because you might lose your house I want to thank the guys at Iron Productions who put this together for me. They make pretty decent content that helps your business get seen. Click the link in the description.